How you doing guys? This is Zangaroya here. Today is Valentine's Day, and you all know what that means. That's right, it's where I get to celebrate my relationship with a little game called Tetris 99, our one year anniversary to be precise. Me and her have spent a year together, and it's been quite a rough start when we started hanging out together. We argue sometimes, she disconnects on me, so I couldn't text her in a while. She's been through some rough patches, and now I'm in love with her all over again. Have some chocolate, honey. It feels good to come clean like this sometimes. I mean, I don't think Facebook really understands our relationship. Throughout the course of our relationship, I decided that I wanted to take a record of every single moment that we have spent together. She was skeptical at first, but she soon warmed up to it. I have achieved at least 359 Tetris Maximuses, and I wanted to share my elite pro gamer skills with the world. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, I'm totally gonna do it. We're gonna go for every single one of these. Hope you're sitting down. Roll it, Terry. Wow, holy shit, that is loud. Oh my god, it's like I'm in a fucking arcade. Uh, um, okay, so, when I start, um, so I started playing this game in February, and you can see that my actual skills aren't actually up to par. As you see, I'm actually taking it pretty slow, as you can see here, so I'm taking my time back to the block and stuff. But, and, you know, because there are people who are so much better than me, luckily, I did it with level one, and that was just how I want to start it out, really. I've run the cool bit I got much better, you can see, with other uh, footage that I have here, I can see a level up. Which does appear as nice times I've got up to like, at least level 60 in this next collage here. And it's taking quite a while to get to that place. Sometimes I get disconnected because I have to do the whole battle royale thing over and over again. And it's always best to go for attackers when people are locked lock, on the outside attacking, especially in the middle round when you're like you around 50 people. And especially when you go to like around 10 players, again they kind of attack you, so if you think of those KOs, you can actually get them. Um, there was also a Grand Prix, as you can see in the left corner, you've got like a trophy club. That was the first Grand Prix that Nintendo has actually held for Tetris 99. Um, but I didn't actually win that one. They promised you gold points. If you win like uh, first prize every single bloody time, you get like so many racked up points. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win that one, and I probably didn't win the other Grand Prix so after that. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm waiting for the other Grand Prix though, so I can get more gold points, and hopefully I'll be the lucky winner to play Tetris uh, 99 a lot. I mean, you have to sacrifice most of your time and your life just playing this game a lot, just to get those fucking gold points to get a lot of discounts on the fucking time of game. What are you gonna do? Around in March, you can see the complaint here. Um, my complaint is it's just the same fucking music and the same theme that's just been used. Um, people are hoping they can change them a bit by the fourth for an update. I mean, I did update this game, but it's just included a kind of pack in this label, just so you make it feel like you achieved something. Oh, wow, okay. So you see a lot of, lot of noise. I get used to a lot of noise now. Um, okay, in this next collage here, I kind of gave up on the 99 because my subscription just ran out. I went for like a month playing this game because it wasn't playing too much fun on it. The subscription ran out and that means, oh well, fuck it, that means I can't play the game anymore. So I gave up after that. My Twitch has been dusting up ever since. And my big brother decided to delete my save file. So that means all the progress that I achieved has completely been wiped out. So thanks a lot, Alonaysia, you're welcome. So I had to build up my level through all of that. And I didn't realize that Cloud Save actually got consistent. And that means in order to get the Cloud Save, you have to take the Tetris Control Line. So that's what we did. When the physical copy of Tetris 99 came out, I had to literally buy it along with the subscription. Luckily, it was the kids that package. So that means I get to play this game for another year. So that means two years of my sweet dad's Valentine. And we got to grow up. Um, as you can see, uh, the buyer of the theme has just been introduced. Uh, I didn't get the Game Boy theme or the Platoon theme because I didn't really realize that the main fact that the game they introduced the Nintendo actually introduced. So I just sort of like, sort of played it behind. And I saw Fire Emblem, that means the Fire Emblem Three Houses was coming around in August. So I thought, oh, I just realized something. These themes actually help me to concentrate and actually become more susceptible to winning. Uh, with the Galaxy theme, I have become a lot of players with the Galaxy theme. Which means I love this theme because it helps me concentrate and beat a lot of, lot of Japanese players. It used to be normal players like Americans and Europeans. Now it's just Japanese and Korean players. So another reason of people that can actually get access to. Um, and you only see one at the back of this mode that I actually played there. I only played that at least once and never played it again because it's not a lot of people play this mode. And plus, it's actually really fun to hire because it's double secure speed. And you can only play this mode when you achieve at least one kind of map because you play a three kind of night map. So that means you're going to be unlocking the mode that nobody really gives a fuck about the beginning. Um, there are other things as you can see. The curvy one is actually pretty adorable. I do like the sound effect when you KO uh, hats and it just goes. 
I love that sound. So fucking satisfied. So I used to see, I used it to make me a hell of a love. Because while I love my love for me, I played Planet Rubber Ball on the 3DS. But I also love the speed. And as well as this uh, custom made music they take from uh, Kirby's Star Allies, is it? And it's just custom made specifically for this game. So that's actually really neat. Um, around September, they started to update the Nintendo Direct, where they have the uh, three more things. But the problem is, you can't unlock things that were special from the previous year. I mean, you can't really, um, you can't really access them. So you have to be there on the day to actually unlock a special thing. So let's get later on in like 2020 or so, you can actually unlock this thing. So it takes at least 30 tickets or so. It fucking sucks when you get to do a little bit of grinding because you can do the mouth on mode, and as well as the first two speed mode. But it's alright. I didn't actually unlock the special piece of the tickets anyway, but I haven't unlocked them yet. I didn't unlock the Splatoon or the Game Boy one. I'm just happy with the theme that I got already, doing the Zelda one. These other ones actually pretty neat, I like the uh, adventure ass uh, features that it has. So that helps, so that helps me win a lot of them. So I stuck with Zelda for a while. Super Mario Bros. and Donkey Kong, I'm not a really big fan of, which is just pretty much the same goddamn thing. But most of the time, I just did one therapy. It's adorable, and it helps me concentrate. It's one of those themes where it's like, it doesn't lag the game, but it actually helps me become um, more controllable. Also around September, the Switch Lite is coming out. Um, during this launch, I was just playing with the Joy Cards and stuff and things. I don't use the Pro Control like that. Actually, I do play with the Joy Cards on the Um When the Switch Lite came out in September, I sort of got there. And uh, it was quite rough at first, because I kept losing every single time I had. So when you use the Red on the Nintendo Switch Lite, it's actually just a bit different from the whole Switch. Right. So with the Switch Lite, I got used to it for a while. So now I've uh, achieved a lot more chaos and catching back to this more than ever. Um, a new thing you can see here, the Wiki's Mansion 3 just came out. What's the big, uh, I'm not really a big fan. It's really my video of the game, so I do like the theme. I think the theme is just there just to be known for the games. Uh, it's just for the game is actually there, but I just like the themes and all, so I, I sort of know that it's just a pretty actual game. As well as you see the, um, the fancy theme. It's actually a really relaxing uh, theme to play along with, it doesn't like make you tense up or anything. It's just very relaxing. It's just me most of the time, themes have tense ass music that makes you like it tense up, and you might fuck up, and not achieve the tense of And also, Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, so the theme was really as well. I was thinking it was on day one, but the theme was going to do because I didn't want to leave one that I got, guys. Have all the special themes and just had these fucking uh, custom themes that you can buy for like 50 tickets or so. So I wanted to be on day one to get those uh, fucking custom themes that I had just for the first game. Um, and they also had some crafts as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did actually go to Eurogame at Expo around September. And if you see my ECS vlog video, I was actually on stage playing Sky Night. And one of the themes I chose when it was on there at Switch at the time was the Fire Emblem theme. And a lot of people like Fire Emblem. I don't know why. I saw that the game on the 3 but never got around to playing it. But I was on EGX. It's just because I got this like beautiful floor place. So I got kind of bad back then. I don't know why I might mention it. Um, in December, you can see the team battle mode that we introduced. And the only reason people fucking play that mode was there. And there was a. Uh, there was an event going around where you can unlock a theme or something. And that's the reason why everyone is playing the team battle. It's the only reason. Not many people play team battle. There's not many people like it. But I play it a bit mostly when you can't get many players in this battle. They sort of get computers or boxes in the mix. It doesn't really make it less fun because computers die out quicker than humans anyway. God, you can take that out of context though. But it's just pointing out the truth, really. So yeah, I was at EGX for a while, I kept playing this game through and through. You see, I'm in fucking 2020 now, and mostly I played this game around February, but there was a new Grand Prix in place. I played this game until like 5 o'clock in the morning, getting all of its points, because the rules of the uh, event was you had to rack up all of its points, because each 100 points had to multiply it to your price score. Which means if you came, if you say like, you get 3,000 points, it equals up to at least 30 tickets. So the more tickets you get, the more charge you get at winning those 999 sweet gold points, right? Sweet ass gold points. But I didn't win. So I spent all that time being up, playing this non that game for at least until the very end of the morning, just for nothing. Today, it's a bot that counts, really. Uh, I, and it was also one, uh, you can see the glass here in the future where I just had to complete those KOs just to make this video. Um, I don't know what else to say, so I'm just gonna serenade my uh, lovely cooking by night here. Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Same heaven, love comes first. <laughs>